Daisy Hovel. It is a residential home worth sixteen thousand three hundred eleven bucks. It is a thirty by twenty with only one bedroom, one bathroom, and only one story. It's quite small, but yet it's worth a little bit more than the uh, Crick Cabana. So let us check it out. You have a nice little wrap around uh, porch. A strange way to enter into it. And immediately, you'll notice a very small TV. <laughs> this home's open concept design is flexible with plenty of outdoor space. But it does lack a lot of other things. But the bathroom is fairly big. This would house would be great for a single sim. Not really to start your family. Maybe a single sim really career minded or focused. You got a nice basic toilet. This could definitely hold a tub. Most certainly. So let's keep going. It's a big block. It's a strange build. And this is your only bedroom. It's really, really basic. And yet it's so much more expensive. If I was going to start a some family, I would go for the Crick Cabana. Because for only one bedroom, you know, you can get the other one. I have two. So let's check out the fridge. The kitchen is such a strange concept. You have this big wall. It's not really a room, but it separates the front room from the uh, from the kitchen. It's like they just put a wall there. It does add to some character, though. So far, it's cooking up well. Everything's nice and cheap. You can always definitely expand with this house. And let's make a meatball. So the meatball turned out really cute. No dining room here. Which got a nice little nook. Uh, once, some, uh, once some family I started in this house, I added a bar here behind the couch. You can actually expand a lot as a single sim with this. And I think I took the wall. I'm not sure if I kept that wall. You can even add a window in that wall. I look good. Uh, so, I want to show you something else because the house is so small. I want to show you my major feature that I liked. And I like the part outside. This one, the Daisy Hovel, is very, very close to the Sylvan Glade entrance. And that is this magical tree right here. Now everybody knows that most some players might, but I want to really cover it just in case you didn't. So this tree right here is accessible right on the property. You don't have to travel or nothing, just can go to it. You talk to it a little bit, you water it, and let's go to the Sylvan Glade. One of my favorite spots. I'll also put down in the description how to get there. They do ask you a series of questions on how to get there. And it is gorgeous. Very similar to the Forgotten Grotto. They ask you a little bit of questions. I'll just put down the description. But look at this place. You get rainbows and a nice fishing spot they have a lot of rare fish here you can find the rainbow fish here it's a lot of nice fishing areas so if you're somebody looking for um you know the rarest of fish and plants you'll have a couple of pear trees i believe some cherry trees things you won't find i think it's a cherry tree or a pear tree um things you won't find in other places that this place will have it's a fairy glen you get your little mushrooms here one of the first places i go to get my mushrooms I used to first start the game and a nice fishing spot. Now, a secret is if you love this place, you can actually live here. This is a house. You can get a house from the gallery if you use a cheat code, not a mod, just a normal uh, open plane cheat code. And you can put a house there. I can uh, explore this house in another video. But yeah, that's basically it, guys. I just wanted to show some of the features that this house has. And um, yeah, I'll talk to y'all guys later. I hope y'all enjoyed the Daisy Hovel. Tell me in the comments what y'all want to live there. Maybe just for the Sylvan Glade. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>